The question that I like to start with is always around an elevator mm-hmm. pitch for less. And it goes, you know, I'm, I'm, I wonder, should I have chosen a different question? I'm not sure. Because I haven't had many really solid elevator pitches. So I, I, I normally do a little bit of a setup and explain how you walk into a big building. It's the company you've always wanted to work with. You're so excited at the opportunity to be there and work with this company. And there's like 60 floors. You get into the elevator. Lo and behold, the CEO is there. Who He's on the fence. He's on the fence. He's not too sure about less. I'm going to add a bit more qualification. Yeah, they, they've already looked at their problems. And they see that less could be helpful. But the CEO is still a little bit unsure. You've got your elevator journey to, to pitch to him. Or talk to him about less. What would you say? Um, and I was prepared for this question, <laughs> so I noted uh, I noted it down because you know elevator pitches are really interesting because you have to come to the point which is probably the most important message to this person who is with you in the in the elevator. And if you talk about the CEO, of course. They are not so much interested in long sentences, in long descriptions, explanations, specifications, whatever. So I thought about myself, what would I love to hear if somebody talks to me and wants to make it more interesting for me, me to, to ask more questions about it, probably to make a decision to do it someday. <clears throat> and I think it has to be at only two sentences. And I thought for myself, what are these two sentences or maybe three, right? Um, And I noted it down because I wasn't able to remember it, (laughs) to memorize it. So um, I have to read it from here. Um, For me, the elevator pitch for LESS is, LESS is a descaling framework to simplify collaboration in product development and to help focusing on business and customer value. It is based on Scrum, but goes a bit further. So larger organizations can benefit from the ideas of Scrum too. And I stole a sentence from a marriage counseling organization and adjusted it to less for less. Uh, if anything works for scaling, less will work. <laughs> Brilliant. You win. Man. You, you, you win. If, it was a competi- if I was running a competition <laughs> so far, I mean, Thank that's you. the best elevator pitch <laughs> I've heard so far. Um, I like it. Please I'm do gonna, it. I'm going to use it. <laughs> that's okay. I'll get a T-shirt made. With it on, mm. and I'll wear it to the next lesson. Yeah, that's that everybody knows who I am. Well, no, everyone, everyone think everyone, no, everyone think I'm you. Then that's what will happen. I'll walk around with this quote, and it will have your name <laughs> on the bottom. And I'll think I'm a T-shirt with my own name. On. I want one. Um, that's <laughs> brilliant. Perfect. You're, I'll make you. I'll, I'll get you one. I'm kind of feel like Great. I'm committing myself <laughs> to this now. Um, <laughs> no, thank you for that. I think it's. I, I love the fact that you distilled it down to a couple of sentences. I think it's really no, important. No. You don't get a lot of time to to talk to to talk to certain yeah. people, and it's weird. what is the hook? What is that? Yeah. More, what is the one thing you can do to just to not to sell it to them, but to pique their interest and exactly. make them want to have the conversation with you? Or, Thank you very much. Pitch for the good. Thank you very much for that. Mm-hmm. Now,